So, you're currently experiencing a crypto market dump. How's that going for you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Before I get started injecting doses of hopium throughout this entire video, I need you to do me a favor. Bookmark this video because this is not going to be the only dump to ever happen in crypto land. Crypto is one of the most volatile and exciting markets to ever exist. But as we all know, with volatility and excitement come gains and pains. But gains and pains aside, the truth is that crypto was designed to be decentralized, permissionless, and it apparently a natural laxative supplement because it just keeps dumping. Poop jokes aside, the fact of the matter is that crypto is a highly volatile and sometimes illiquid market. See what I did there? So why would anyone bother trading such a volatile, unpredictable, and laxative inducing market? Because the recoveries are just as emotionally exciting and potentially life changing. So here's the goods. This is how I handle dumps in crypto and win every time. Step-by-step -step strategies inside. Tip numero uno. Building mental resilience is key in surviving in crypto for the long term. Term. Think of mental resilience like a bicep in your brain. Most of us never get a chance to exercise this muscle, making it look more like a limp spaghetti noodle instead of Arnold Schwarzenegger's arm. What is the key to building mental resilience? You have to lift the weight if you want to gain muscle mass. So in your case, you're working through some of those reps right now because the market is dumping. Yep, that's right. The one only way to truly build mental resilience is to actually go through market dumps and volatility. I remember my first major market dump like it was yesterday. Everyone remembers their first market dump, mainly because of how traumatic it is. And no, I am not kidding here. But just like getting a face tattoo, the worst part is, well, the whole thing. Really? A face tattoo? What are you, Mike Tyson? Okay, forget the face tattoo example, but essentially the idea I'm trying to get across here is that your first market dump will always hurt the most. And as you experience each dump, you actually begin to learn how to turn off those sensors in your brain that are screaming in pain. Now hear me out, I am not advocating for you to completely go full on Android mode and turn off all your feelings and emotions. Those are extremely important, which brings me to my next tip. Tip number dose, listen to your feelings, but don't follow your emotions. Yes, that does sound a little bit confusing, but if we say it again, it'll make more sense. Listen to your feelings, but don't follow your emotions. Like it or not, you're a human and you have emotions that are hardwired into your brain from birth. You experience joy, sadness, exhilaration, and fear whenever something near and dear to you is being impacted or affected for better or for worse. Your job as a trader and or investor is not to experience ignore your emotions because you can't. But after building mental resilience, you'll be able to think through the noise of your emotions without actually going through with what you're feeling. Humans are ingrained to respond in two ways, fight or flight. Your job as a crypto trader and or investor is to pay attention to what you're feeling and sometimes, as crazy as this sounds, do the exact opposite. When you're feeling like you're Leo DiCaprio on the good ship Titanic and you're king of the world while you're admiring your emerald green portfolio glistening with huge percentages of unrealized profits, your feelings are likely to tell you to take a screenshot instead of taking some profit. Why? Well, because it could go higher, of course. When you open up your portfolio, portfolio during a market dump and all you see is red. Your feelings are likely telling you to panic sell everything in your portfolio because it's going to get even worse, when in reality, it would make way more sense to buy more on panic dips if you're not already out of stable coins, which we're going to get to in a second. And by the way, this part about flipping the script on your emotions takes a lot longer to get the hang of, so be patient. And speaking of patience, that brings us to tip Sanban. Yes, we're going to be doing Japanese now and mixing it up. Sanban no pointo. Patience pays, but it can take longer than you want it to. I love the phrase patience pays because it's so true and it happens to rhyme. But seriously, patience is literally a virtue. And in this microwave culture of instant gratification, patience is a long lost art that you absolutely need to develop. And thankfully, the crypto market is extremely generous with practice on this one. As the prophet Tom Jones said, it's not unusual to wait for several months for a trade to close in the green. Patience is part of trading and investing, and it requires holding to your convictions, especially during a market dump of X lax proportions. 
When you're building mental resilience by doing the opposite of what your emotions are screaming at you to do, and you buy the dip and the price keeps on dipping, well, what do you do then? Well, you sit patiently waiting for your position to go back into the green. That's it. Find a grassy knoll with some peaceful trees and birds and touch some grass. And before you know it, you'll be ready to go back to your computer screen and oh no, why is it still not going on? Easy there, Tiger. Patience pays. And that means in order to win every time, you need to follow your trading plan from start to finish, even if that means it's going to take some time to close in the green. So what about the outliers? What about Terra Luna? What if a chart dumps straight to the netherworld because the project is failing or it's just getting rubbed? This brings us to our next tip. Tip number four, apes get wrecked and you're not an ape. Or in other words, don't go all in on anything. While building a diverse portfolio can limit the amount of profit you can make, spreading your portfolio across multiple coins decreases the risk of you losing everything by betting on red or getting an embarrassing tattoo of Terra Luna like Mark Novogratz did. Yikes. What happens if you're holding the next Terra Luna? Cut the rope. Take a loss. Your number one job as a crypto trader and investor is to protect your portfolio at all costs, and taking losses is sometimes the best way to do it. Another method that will save your butt in the next dump is using a DCA strategy. The type of DCA strategy I'm talking about is using a fraction of a set amount of your funds to make your first buy, then buying more as the price goes lower and lower. Honestly, the easiest way to do this is with a DCA bot on all trading. I've been using DCA bots since 2018 and I love them because they completely remove the emotional aspect of trading. Plus, they run 24-7, 365, which means they're trading while you're, well, not. Now that we've covered our bases with these four tips, let's get into some strategies that actually work in crypto when the market dumps. Strategy number one, waiting for lower wicks is one of the easiest ways to know when you can start looking to DCA into a red bag. Typically, long lower wicks signal the bottom on a chart. Since the price dropped dramatically but quickly closed up higher. These are great signals that a chart will likely not fall lower, although be prepared for more lower wicks just in case. Again, this is why we DCA. I like looking for entries just slightly above the halfway mark on these lower wicks, especially on the daily time frame. This strategy is fantastic for capitalizing on market panic and fear after a major drop. And the TBO indicator makes this even easier by identifying lines of support right on the chart. Strategy number two, wait for RS side across above 25 on the daily time frame. Even though the price can continue falling, this is typically a great dip buy signal, especially in bull markets. If you're watching this in a bear market, however, do not expect this to be the bottom. Strategy number three, wait for a TBO close short signal on the daily time frame. These little orange diamonds are amazing bottoming signals, especially when you get a cluster of these at or just above TBO support. The main thing to keep in mind when using these strategies is that they will work best when the market is most volatile. Another thing to keep in mind is that the market will bounce highest and hardest after the first major and biggest drop. While the market will continue to bounce after the dump, it rarely bounces higher the second and third times. Think of it like a bouncy ball. If you hold a bouncy ball and drop it, each consecutive bounce is slightly lower. You've heard it said that there are only two things that are certain in life death and taxes. I'm here to add a third, dumps in crypto. Don't pretend like there's never going to be another market dump. Instead of trying to wish it away, start taking action. And it's not too late to be prepared for the next crypto bull run. Watch this video at the end and until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.